Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. My name is Kate. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. If you would like to book a reading, the link is in the bio. If you would like to report on Ebev, link in the bio. And if you'd like to report or um, donate a dollar or if you'd like to donate money to the Karen Reed Defense Fund, link in the bio. Today I would like to do a reading on the intersection of Farwell and Kevin Albert. I don't know either of their birthdays, so we'll just see what the cards want to tell us. Actually, we're going to switch it up and use our Game of Thrones cards. Ooh, it's been a while. Oh, I like these. I love those cards too, but um, we're just going to switch it up. I'll get all this stuff out of the way. Okay. What is going on at the intersection of Kevin Albert and Matthew Farwell? Ooh, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups. Sorry, right, hold on, that didn't cut right though. The Magician, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors. Oh man, the King of Swords. Yeah, all right, so. I didn't, Ten of Swords, well, these are called spears in the Game of Thrones, but they're swords for, oh no, these, yeah, swords. Lots of battling. Oh, death's here. Oh boy. Beggars. That over there so you can see it. This is um, stuck between two horrible decisions. Seven of Pentacles. This is the, there's a lot of Pentacles here. They call them coins in this, on this deck. This is Daddy Warbucks. More Pentacles, more Pentacles. Man, evening's cards feel dark today. This is the eight of swords. We have seven, eight, nine, ten. We have a, a th I wonder what this means in, it's like a full house, I think. We have a three, four, five. Did I see a six? Well, we have the three, four, five, seven. Never mind. Oh, man. Well, these guys on the floor. Is Kevin called up in this Birchmore thing more than just like being a sketchy cop and like, was he, did he have, did, I know that there are documents and I'll put them in. I just created a spot that you can grab documents, all the documents that I read or use. I just created a spot. I'll put a link in the bio below. Was Kevin caught up in the touching of this she was a little girl. Okay, so I know Kevin was involved in the cover up, perhaps allegedly for entertainment purposes, only there are no facts here. I'm literally a chick with a tarot deck. And I just read energy. I 
could care less who you are. <laughs> unless, unless you're one of the regulars. And I don't mean one of our friends. I mean, one of the regulars that either show up here or show up in the comments. Show otters. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. So did, oh man, what's Kevin's deal? Did he touch children? And I'm asking because we are doing, I was calling it a mashup because I couldn't think of the name. It's an intersection of their energy where their energy, they have different stories, but their energies come together and then they continue on with their path. Where Farwell and Kevin's energy intersect is around a fool and money. This is a little like a fool can be anyone who's learning something new or blindly of like blindly oblivious, like un not understanding the gravity of the situation. Ethan Chapin, John O'Keefe and Sandra Birchmore are all examples of the little fool who I don't know about this because what we're seeing at the intersection of their energy is like a fool is here. Okay. All right. There's not really a, a great place to start. The fool is the, the softest place. So we're going to, we just started with the fool. Take a drink. <laughs> I don't like this. Farwell is like out. We know that about him. Oh, man. I mean, all right, we're just going to start talking this out. We can see strength in one of two ways. On the regular rider weight, I use the radiant rider weight. For someone asked me about that, and I forgot. I don't know if I told you, but it's the woman taming the lion. She is, like, embodied her femininity and, like, understands the whole this whole game. It's just a game. We're all just actors. The CIA did release documents that called it a hologram. Call it whatever you want. And this strength card... Is also highly feminine. She looks like um, it's the queen that's the sister in England right now. She's like stands in her masculine. Can't remember her name. She's like the strong arm. Prince Charles' sister, not the one that just not his mom, her daughter, whoever that is. That's who this reminds me. Of. Okay. I don't know why I started with strength. What's going on with Kevin? Like, other than the investigation, did he have a, did he touch her? I hope his name's in those documents. I don't remember seeing his name anywhere, but I did see a comment right before I sat down asking me to look into Kevin. That enforces that Brian Albert was touched when he was little. You don't just start touch. Okay. My personal opinion is that pedophiles, are we even allowed to say that? People that touch children were touched because it's learned behavior. You don't just start touching kids, which means it's been going on for probably thousands of years, passed on from generation to generation. When I was doing a Brian Albert reading, I have no idea which one, I got that he had been touched by someone trusted, like a priest or a coach or something. His house was chaotic. His dad might have been a raging psycho alcoholic or something. I don't know. But if Kevin's hands are on this in the sense of touching her, then that enforces that he was touched. I didn't even... I don't get Kevin's energy at all, but that's fine. I mean, I'm getting it right now. Um, 
I mean, this just looks like you would expect a, to look like. Like, I mean, I, I don't even know your own. I mean, it just looks like what you would think. So let's just say that there's a lot of chaos in the home. Chaos could be alcoholism, could be addiction, could be the dad stepping out, the mom, or they're overworked. Whatever that looks like, there's chaos in the home. There's fighting. The dad's just trying to go to work to, like, barely scrape by. Every month, it's paycheck to paycheck, or every week, or however he gets paid. It's like, there's never really enough. The three of coins is like, I mean, these are poverty. If we had the five, oh, we do. This is straight up poverty. In the regular rider weight, they're walking outside in the snow of a church. This looks like she's just sitting on the concrete in front of a church, begging for money. So they brew, you know, they were struggling. And there's a lot of fighting, lots and lots of fighting at home. A lot of strong arm, like um, gaslighting and manipulation could be a little bit of like narcissism in the parental figures. There's no feminine here for that, this part right now while we're explaining what I'm guessing. I'm guessing we're tapping into the Albert home or it could be the Farwell home because if his brother was indicted in the first round, that's telling us all together that those little boys were touched. And so this could be the Farwell home or the Albert home. We've already read this. We know this about the Alberts, but Kevin wasn't immune to it. None of them were. And so there's a strong masculine that's like, I mean, the King of Swords, it, this says spears, but in regular readings, uh, let's do true crime. If you are trying to describe the archetype of or the characteristics of a soco socio or psychopath, king, queen of spirit, swords, hands down 100% all the time, very smart, there's no emotion. The woman, the queen is extending a hand and holding a sword. So she could cut your head off or shake your arm, hand. Um, there's no feminine here for this. So as they're getting older, this has a library on it. We'll say they're learning. They could be learning the streets, learning school. It doesn't, however you learn, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of completion here. Here's a nine. Here's a 10 of cups. The 10 of cups in this, I don't really know how you'd want to take this. But then we have, oh, and here's another 10. Here's our three, these are completions. 10's done. 10's a good, I mean, it's good, it's fine to get. It doesn't matter, it's the end of the cycle. Like, I don't know if I ever told you guys, but if you, if I ever taught you or was learned, if you were learning the baking cake analogy, this is when your cake's out of the oven and you're cleaning everything up. It's just, you're just done with that process. Oh, here's the 10. So we have three 10s, 10, 10, and 10. All right, so we're holding. Ten of coins, this would be 10 of pentacles, 10 of spears. This would be our 10 of swords and 10 of cups. We're missing 10 of earth or 10 of pentacles. Yeah, because we have, oh wait, no. We have pentacles, swords, and cups. So we don't have fire. I don't know what they call it in this deck, but in ours, it's wands. So here's the end of something. And oh, and here's the tower to really, really slam it home. If there was any question, then we can answer it with the tower. What's coming to an end? We were just, they were growing up. Oh, perhaps they like got done with whatever, like perhaps it was cop camp. Perhaps it was, yeah, for both of them, it would have been cop camp probably or whatever that college is that Bridgewater State or something. 
Yeah, so perhaps that came to an end. I mean, I don't know why these, come, this is a, the end of a cycle. So perhaps this was the hard knock streets, the hard knock life, I don't know. But it's the end of that phase in their life. We then have, did I go through these? Yeah, these are, this is their childhood home, which is chaotic. Always, there's never enough, never enough money, never enough love, never enough attention for either of their families. So now they're done with that cycle of their life. Perhaps it was cop camp, perhaps it was whatever. And now they're out in the world and They're expected to be the Daddy Warbucks of their families. Now they have their own family. We're going through the cycle of their life. They're expected to be the Mac Daddy of their home, supporting the wife, the children. And so they work hard every day. They're the master of their trade. They just go to work. But that's not what all they're doing. And there were a lot of lies, deception, lies. Magicians pull stuff out of a hat. They're, it's not real. So this is an illusion. And they started building their little life around an illusion. There's no feminine here, nothing, nothing to Im indicate that they're loyal to anyone, them, no one. Because there are always a lot of battles. Okay, first of all, they are stuck. Now that they're in this new phase of their life and they're expected to be the daddy warbucks of their family, go to work, work hard, support the family, they've really built it. It's a house built on sand. It's all illusions, delusions. And with this, what is it like? It's an illusion, it's a fake house. It's like, it's not real. With all of the illusions and delusions, they put themselves in a horrible decision or a horrible position. This is on the rider weight, the a rock in a hard place. That's what I always say. And someone in Idaho case said, like, now that's how they remember it. That I must have learned that somewhere, obviously. But this little girl is our rock in a hard place. Because there's a lot of Fighting, always fighting. This comes also with alcoholism or not going inside and cleaning out your closets, making room for the new furniture, always in battles. And they're always trying to overpower, use their strength. They are not one with the divine, I'll tell you that. And there's no femininity here. This is just to me bullying, but they're like bad bullies. They bully like little children and they're grown men. Or like Wade Wilson bullies women and he's like six, four or five or six. And death, the angel of death is knocking at their door. That's all true. I don't know why I'm surprised. I think I just didn't expect this for Kevin Albert. I thought he was just a dirty cop. I didn't expect him to be also a diddler. And it's learned behavior. I mean, we can send them, send them love and light. That's what I should do right now because I'm judging hard. <laughs> so I'll send love and light. And we'll do Ashley over at the Reckoning Lover. If you're one of those women that had the audacity, or men, people, that had the audacity to comment on her summer schedule, she's a mom and she has a child, shame on you. That's, that's not cool. Or draw... If you criticize her, and I'm saying this, Ashley, has, has had to turn the comments off before. <laughs> I'm a little loyal, but I don't think it was just me. But if you had the audacity to comment on her reading schedule, drop your link and we'll all come watch you. I would love to see how you read your cards and what your schedule is. Don't do that to her. That's not cool. Uh, sorry, Ashley, I brought that up like three times. I saw it yesterday. <laughs> it's still on my mind. So we're going to see what Ashley's cards say. It's a learned behavior. We know. Oh. 
the card that jumped is breakup separation. I have no idea if Kevin's married. I have no idea if Farwell, I'm going to call Kevin the diddler. Oh, sorry, but, or if Farwell's wife has left him, she should. I don't know. I mean, those, I feel bad for their children. Especially if they have daughters around the age of eight to 12. Yeah, someone's breaking up between Farwell and Kevin Albert. So, and I just went, oh, this is looking like a strand of DNA. And we know we have familial DNA here. And we know that there was a Hail Mary. I don't know if this is John. I'm getting Paul O'Keefe. So maybe Paul O'Keefe and his trash wife are breaking up. Yeah, they'd all like to travel. Uh, somebody's hands were tied. Okay, now where's Kevin? I've already said this, and I saw someone wrote in the comments, like, something about his car. I don't believe anything that comes out of anyone's mouth down, especially any of the witnesses, a.k.a. I don't believe any of it. I believe energy. Energy doesn't lie. There's no, there are no feelings. Energy is just energy. It's like gravity. It doesn't matter if you're nice or not. You're going to fall off a bridge if you walk off of it. Like, come on, guys, you, don't leave your common sense at the door. Someone was both Karen, oh, thank God, not Karen. Karen, uh, Sandra, and John O'Keefe were pretty much, well, she was straight up tied up. He, they, I saw on JFK, just for the kids, that's his channel. He thinks that perhaps Matthew held John and someone hit him in the head. Oh, just another thought, who knows? Come over to the party, the celebration. Yet yeah, Kevin was there, 100%. I don't care what anyone says. I want to see phone records. And yeah, there was a weapon. Oh, no. Oh, no. you guys. Hold on. This is the exact order. I know we've gotten this at least three times now. Um, there was a, a trip with... Oh, did you guys notice? I put um, Chloe... With aviator glasses, that was like a shout out to Chloe and Josh Levy. It's like the FBI. That's what that's from. Because I don't want to give any of these trash buckets, like, I don't want to see their faces either. But what I do want to see is their, uh, so that's why there's a German Shepherd with aviators and a suit on. That's a shout out to Chloe and Levy. At the same time, I thought that, I thought that was pretty funny. So that's what that is. But what the point is, is Chloe has been around. She shows up a few times. So there was a travel, there was a trip that they took when they drove her to a secluded area with a weapon. For anyone thinking she's in the backyard, I'm sorry to tell you, and she's not in Vermont either, alive. I mean, I don't know if that could be any clearer, but this is like the third or fourth reading we've done that all these cards in this order have come out. So then we have a witness. And Josh Levy did drop that there is a witness. I saw in somewhere either on TikTok or here that there's a state witness in California. I have no idea what any of who, I don't know. But there's a witness. Hmm. So this could be Sandra or Karen story. I don't know. For Karen Reed's case. I don't even like calling it that. Ah, uh, here's a girl getting on her jet. This is a fluent upper class. <laughs> I can't wait. Hey, Karen, when you get a jet, can I come for a ride? <laughs> Let's go to like the Cayman Islands or something. Um, yeah, there was a meeting and they were super greedy because the home safety security system, whoopsies, and I know I've said this a few times too, like the people that think that the feds could never have bought that house, like I swear, there are so many shows about it. There, I mean, the CIA, you just go to their website. All of the documents are right there. Oh, 5D portal. Well, maybe that's what we're tapping into. I'm not getting, well, there's a lot of darkness, but I'm not getting the prince of this world. We are tapping into a 5D portal. We're going in between. The energy doesn't just stay right here with our meat suits. So I'm not picking up the Prince of this World, the AI. 
Yeah, they used AI to find the truth. Oh, this is Cellbrite. To find the truth. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Every single time we read on these Albert boys, it's like they're all worse than the last today. And this is all allegedly for entertainment purposes only. No facts here. Please do your own research. But they have the evidence and you're probably going to be on the inside because you're psyop political warfare. Oh, is coming to an end. The cards that we got, uh, it's not a conspiracy theory. And the word conspiracy theory is annoying. It's a CIA word. It's in the CIA documents. And I've done videos. I don't know where it is, but I've done a video on this before. I should find it. For anyone who thinks, who uses the word conspiracy theory in a derogatory way. That's, that's part of the programming. Like money doesn't grow on trees. That's all part of programming. It's learned behavior, predictive programming. Yeah, because uh, you're going to go down the rabbit hole because there is, tra this is an afternoon traffic. Now, Kevin's balls deep in this too. And I don't know who got the warning. Maybe someone from the feds. <laughs> There's a pattern repetition. Yeah, there was. And there was a huge plot twist because our affluent upper class princess, hey Karen, <laughs> want to be besties, uh, corrupted media source. No, it was a big secret, don't tell. It was poison for the mind. For everyone who doesn't think critically, just believes these headlines. It was all collapsing. Yeah, the Democrats going down. Oh, uh, this is all, this is the 5D portal. This is not, I'm not getting anything negative. I mean, we have gotten some serious Prince of this World energy and I'm not getting that right now. There's a contract and paperwork. Ah, the angels are here. All right, let's leave it on the angels. Yeah, because, and it, we'll give this to Josh Levy. Oh, here's the beach vacation. Aren't you bad? That perp walk is going to be one for the decades. This That that perp walk is going to be like, where were you when JFK died? I was like, I'm. that was before my time, but everyone knows where they were when JFK died. Like the 1986 Challenger. Oh, Kristen McAuliffe is from Concord. And we go to the museum with the children. And um, like, I know where I was. I was in like first grade. Um, and that's a whole nother, it's not a conspiracy theory. So in conclusion, Kevin may have way more to do with this. I'm going to say, according to the cards, is um, the diddler, perhaps. And there's a witness. So in conclusion, we'll go back through this really quickly. Oh boy, these are all long readings today. In conclusion, the intersection of Kevin and Farwell is that they grew up in chaotic homes. That could be like, no, Pretty much my parent, my mom's generation, our parents' generation, like she had like six siblings, very Catholic. And their the intersection of their energy is like always a struggle for food. It's always like, we're, how are we going to pay the bills? How are we going to eat? There was never enough, never enough. It was like oh, scrounging and there was a lot of fighting. Perhaps there was an alcoholic, a narcissist. We definitely got alcoholism for the um, Albert home, like that father might have been. This could also be far well. I mean, two brothers that touch little kids tell me that those two brothers got touched. And then they finally decide to like go to school or whatever. They can, oh yeah, they go to cop camp. And they continue their education and they get through the period in their life. Yeah, these are all tens. Tens are over. Tens done. Nine is almost done. You're just waiting. Like if you bake the cake, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I trained, I did something on it. So 
you bake the cake and then you invite your friends over, they all eat it, and now you're cleaning it up. And so that's the end of the cycle. The tower is the end of a cycle in this context. So they're at cop camp. Now, they are expected to support their own family and to have their own life. And they're expected to raise their children, go to work, be the master of their trade, and just make sure that everyone is supported beneath them. But because they don't have a strong moral compass, they didn't have a chance or whatever, there's a lot of smoke and mirrors. It's not all as it seems. Might look nice on the outside. The Proctor home looked happy when they were yelling at that, wait, that reporter. But then because they have everything, it's like an illusion. They are getting stuck between a rock and a hard place. These are horrible decisions. And there's a lot of fighting. I wish they were in a gang or something. It would make this a lot easier to explain for their own moral compasses. And they can overpower women, kids, people. And this is John and Sandra and Ethan. So then we jumped over to, oh, the little fool. This is John, Sandra, and Ethan. I forgot about them. So we jump over to Ashley's cards at the Reckoning. And there's a lot of them. But basically what we need to know is the truth is coming to the light. The truth is coming to the light. The Celebrate data has it all. Sandra Bertmore was tied up. John O'Keefe was kidnapped in the sense they took his thing. There's a 5D portal. We're going between dimensions right now, just as I'm doing this. And all of you do too. When you get those intuitive hits, that still small voice, don't ignore it. Trust me. It doesn't end very well ever. Because there's a home security system. And for the critics that forgot to, they had Google, do your own research on it. I'm telling you. Who's the biggest landowner in the world? Catholic Church. Who's the second? In America? If it's not the government, it's jobs. Or, yeah. Who's also a doctor? Like, come on. Because he's greedy. Well, he is. And there was a meeting of the minds, quote unquote, because they took Chloe in a car to a secluded area with a weapon. And now she's on the front page of all of these um, readings. In, with her aviators. That's a shout out to Josh Levy. So there's a witness. This is the secret key. <laughs> and the feds are, they're witty. Well, at least in the Adelson case. And because, hey, Karen, when you get that jack, can I come? <laughs> Actually, I stalked her for some reason. And she went to college with a couple of my girlfriends from high school. So anyway, it's a small area. I'm sure. Anyway, that's a uh, long reading. But with that, I will love you and leave you. I am going to upload these for today. And I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for, I just want to thank everyone. I love you all so much. If you'd like to book reading, the link is in the bio. And have a good day. Bye. Bye.